Welcome back to Daily Planet Goes North. I'm Jay Ingram. And I'm Kim Jake Piani. Now, when you think of safety innovations with cars, you think of the Germans, the Japanese, the Swedes as well, perhaps. These guys really pushed the boundaries when it came to the safety front, right? That's right. But one guy started to think, what about tire blowouts? If you have that happen, especially on a highway, it can be catastrophic. How come nobody's done anything about that? Well, that's when this guy decided to take the matter in his own hands. Where is this genius, you might be asking? He's in Whitehorse, Yukon. And he is the subject of what we like to call built in, in your, your backyard. backyard. For this inventor, the road to success is marked with gravel, potholes, and a flat tire or two, literally. Wow. Wow. He's either a daredevil or a madman. Truth is, he's a little of both. White horse inventor, do-it-yourself kind of guy. Peter Becker has made a tire rim, he says, that could make roads safer for everyone. You cannot prevent the disintegration uh, of a tire um, but you can uh, maintain vehicle control with, with a completely dis disintegrated tire. The innovation? A tire rim that is oval rather than round. He says that the run flat tire rim is a very simple idea. Basically, it's a fail safe uh, uh, safety device. When he came up with this idea, he went to work. The first step. A practical step was that I thought there's no, no scale way of doing it, which is something that I like doing, is go to the Salvation Army store and, you know, take some duct tape and wire and, uh, and, and, and piece and, and do something that, that costs me $5. This time he knew he had to build a workable prototype right off the bat. I took a rim, um, an original rim, I cut it all up in, in slices and, and, and pieces cut it all out with an angle grinder, set the ground on fire here, and uh, find some ingenious jigging uh, ways, actually, to, to put such a structure together that has 12 feet of welding seam in a 15-inch rim and uh, still end up with uh, something that's completely centered and round. Fast forward a few months, and today Becker's ready to take these handmade tire rims for a spin to show us exactly what they can do. He goes to a very secret, highly unofficial test track. One feature of this quotation mark test track that uh, we're using is uh, that, it, that it's fairly straight. It also um, is, a, is a downhill. So uh, in terms of testing the technology, I was actually limited by the engine power of this 1300cc uh, 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 engine to get the speeds to really prove the, the capability at, at highway speeds. So it's pedal to the metal to see just how fast he can go. It really is exciting to see that, that you can be safe with two flat tires on the front, and yet I can take my, the hands off the wheel at 90 kilometers an hour. In this video that he made himself, Becker shows the evidence. The, uh, the tire is in uh, two pieces now. The run flat rim. Has survived 12 kilometers again with no effect of wear whatsoever. The conventional tire rim and Becker's run flat rim share the exact same circumference and they have the exact same amount of slack. Any tire rim has a drop center, a circular depression, which uh, provides the slack to mount and unmount tire uh, uh, from that rim. However, the conventional rim has a consistent center depression of about 18 millimeters, while the run-flat rim has a depression that varies from about 6 millimeters to about 35 millimeters at its deepest point. In motion, the high points of the oval, just like uh, from a chicken egg, actually lock the tire in, into place. Should the tire uh, blow out, explode, lose its thread or deflate while it's moving, while it's on the vehicle, the high points of the oval, fill the rim well completely in a dynamic way. 
between the road surface and the two high points, you have a triangle that creates a 100% reliable bead locking So The tire cannot go out of center, stays mounted. He figured out a way a tire can be mounted on a run flat rim exactly the same way a tire is mounted on a conventional rim. It's not your typical workspace, but it's precisely the way Becker likes it. There's a certain inspiration that comes from chaos uh, versus uh, that clean shop floor. Sometimes uh, what you have works better than what you could actually really buy. And from this chaos came an idea that could have applications around the world. I want this to be uh, the standard for the, for the world's uh, attire and automotive industry. Despite being invented and developed well north of the 49th, Becker thinks the rim could be especially useful in hot climates. In the developing world, uh, tires are uh, clearly used uh, down to the tread, and there's a lot more tire failures there, and uh, uh, the, uh, the loss of life is, uh, is staggering. Becker's been down this road before. He knows it takes more than a good idea to get the wheels in motion. And speaking of innovation, we... There are more and more tire pressure monitoring systems around, like this one here. Essentially, they are tire gauges that can be read from the dashboard, but less reliable. One way the tire pressure sensors get damaged is when in the process of tire changing, the bead gets depressed into the rim well and comes with force onto the sensor. Now on the run flat rim, the pressure points in the tire changing process is the high point of the oval rim well. The tire pressure sensor sits in the low point of the rim well and in the process of tire changing, the bead comes down but not with force, not with pressure onto the tire sensor. The sensor stays safe even when the tire technician makes a mistake. However, a functioning tire pressure monitoring system or even electronic stability control does not help much regarding tire blowout situations caused by puncture through sharp edged or pointed objects on the road surface or perhaps bullets, but also regarding tire explosions and tread separations as a consequence of faulty tires, wrongly rated tires and overloaded tires. Run flat tires remain a dream, they don't work efficiently. As long as they are nomadic tires, the run flat rim will remain the only workable safety backup with real run flat capability for all forms of tire failure. These run flat capabilities are identical to what a Humvee split rim of a military type provides. But tire changing is as easy as with any one piece rim. For questions, contact Mechanical Innovation at YKNet.ca.